Yeah. Now it's burning. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, so uh, we're talking about why the new, why vitamin C is so important because we're talking about the neurotransmission. We're talking about the new neurotransmitter. I mean, what, ask, what, what, ask, what? 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 Yeah. Can I ask uh, yeah. one question? Because because I have a really 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 strong sleeping problem. Yeah. I wouldn't think uh, first. Oh, vitamin C. We call that, that will help me. insomnia. We're talking about insomnia. Yeah. Please tell me about that. Yeah, insomnia. And tell us. About yeah, that. yeah. Um, okay, so we're talking about what vitamin C does. We're talking about the uh, the chemical component, and so we've just we've we've been able to to clarify that vitamin C is the is the component. It's the ingredient that does that. And so, yes. um, you know, what they've found is they've done laboratory studies with rats. And what they've found is that when you apply stress to a rat, it will produce vitamin C therapy. A rat produces its own vitamin C. Oh. Animals produce their own vitamin C. Um, they've done tests on deer and horses, they've done tests with vitamin C and so the animal kingdom has, has a biological system that produces a massive amount of vitamin C under, un under, stre under stress and, uh -huh. and it's amazing like the rat when, when they apply when they apply stress, I mean, I don't, I don't advocate killing rats, but anyway, the thing is, is that <laughs> research, me, research, research clarifies, research supports that, that when, when the animal kingdom is under stress, it's ha it has this innate system where it's able to mass produce vitamin C, oh. but not the, but not the human. Hmm. The human must. Must, a, Why? must attain it from edible forms. Mm -hmm. Edible forms of vitamin C. So they're the um, the red the red skin fruits, the orange skin fruits, the yellow skin fruits. So all those vegetables. So you've got the you've got the apples, you've got the oranges, you've got um, cauliflower for vitamin yeah, onion. A. Onion. It's very good. Yeah. I've Onions. got berries. Yeah. Berries there. I've got the yeah. Full yeah. Onion. Yeah, got, what is it called? Berries. Uh, berries. All, all the berries, like the, um, uh, like the, 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 the purple berries, the red berries, yeah. raspberries, blackberries, yeah. um, all, the, all the berries, yeah, very good. Okay, fantastic. So, um, also we need to understand is that ascorbic acid is a modulator. It acts as a modulator. So that means that that means that you can have excessive communication being distributed through the body. Well, vitamin C acts as a molecule to suppress that. It modulates it. It creates an equilibrium in the human body. Okay. And um, yeah, so that, that was very interesting. And not only that, it's also a free radical scavenger. A free radical scavenger. Okay. And so, Free radicals are just basically um, molecules, electrons that have that have um, uh, that have been added on. Electrons, molecules, electrons that have been added onto a molecule, mm -hmm. and so it becomes radical. Um, you know, our cells are supposed to have a certain chemical molecular structure, and so. At any time, the electron. At any time, when a, when an electron becomes added onto it, it becomes a free radical, and that free radical becomes damaging. It actually damages tissues, damages brain tissues, damages um, uh, the central nervous system, and so um, vitamin C. This is really important as well. We need to understand that 
every day there is a remnant of waste in the human body. All right, our our bodies are a, are, are a a waste refuse. A waste refuse. What does that mean? What I mean, it's it just it's think of it. It's just a field of rubbish. Inside the body is a field of rubbish. Now you know. The governments have a system where they collect the rubbish from your house every day. Okay, so what does the body do? The body uses vitamin C. The body uses vitamin C to collect waste from the field of biological function in the human body. Like me, like uh, I feel like I'm a chemical factory. Yeah, exactly. My body yeah. uh, feels like it. And also hormones as well, like mm. as we age, as we age, as we, I'm, uh, yeah, we're turning 50. You know, we're, so we're, all, we're all aging and so um, the female ceases to uh, produce progesterone uh, and she, she becomes estrogen dominant. Uh, the male becomes testosterone deficient and he also becomes um, deficient in testosterone and that that affects the, uh, the the human body as well okay we start to see a change in our shape okay that's dysfunction we, we understand that but we can what I'm saying is that we can we can interject and we can we can uh, we can manipulate we can do something. We can, yeah, yeah. We can slow the process down yeah. using vitamin C, and um, and that's what vitamin C does. A vitamin C eats remnant protein, remnant proteins in the human body. Okay, so I'm talking about that's amino. Really, really, really <laughs> interesting. I'm talking about amino acids. Okay, you've got the non-essential amino acids mm -hmm. and the essential amino acids. And uh, Dr. Merritt Horning, whom I studied with at Loma Linda University. Um, he is probably one of the most prominent researchers in, in cardio, cardiovascular health at Loma Linda University. And uh, I did a specialised, um, I did a specialised research thesis with him relate, relating to um, the non-essential and the essential amino acids and um, the way that certain certain amino acids uh, inhibit heart disease and it's the amino acids that come from plant foods it's the it's it's not the essential amino acids the essential it's the the essential amino acids are primarily found in uh, pr primarily found in meat okay animal protein so there is an abundance there is an abundance of essential of, a, of essential I'll say that again because I can cut this out there, <laughs> there is there is an abundance of a, essential amino acids in animal protein as compared to plant protein foods okay so plant protein foods have a higher volume of non essential amino acids Sorry, I'll state that again. Plant protein has a higher volume of essential amino acids, whereas meat has a higher volume of non-essential amino acids. And it's these non-essential so amino there acids. Is the these the yeah. non-essential amino acids that are directly related. It's the non it's it's the non-essential amino acids that are directly related to heart disease. Oh. And so when we when we look at vitamin C, when we look at, you know, there are a lot of people, a lot of vegetarians out there that, that advocate plant protein. Good on ya. Good on ya. Great thing. But remember, vitamin C is the, is the ingredient that keeps, that keeps this, this, uh, this, this mechanism in, in, in place. Now, is it possible that we can overdose on vitamin C? How's the red light going? It's going on. Good. It's burning. Is it possible that we can overdose on vitamin C? Ah, I'm having too much vitamin C. You can't, Troy. You can't have too much vitamin C because it's 
water soluble. It's a water soluble mo molecule. So that means that you can dose up, you can have as much as you like, and the body will just naturally excrete it. Good. You know? Good. So there's no. So they're working to get to, together. Well, there's no danger. There's no danger in in using. But it's a very safe. It's a very safe molecule to use in healing. I mean, you know, why is it? Why is it that Germany uh, German doctors are using intravenous vitamin C to cure all types of diseases, AIDS, cancer? Coronary heart disease, diabetes. Because they are uh, finally wise. Who would ever the think? Wise people. Who would ever think that diabetes mm. would be an immunological problem, mm. part of the immune system? I wouldn't think so. <laughs> it is because it's the pancreas that produces insulin. Who would ever think that that an overproduction of insulin would create? Um, tissue breakdown in the human body. Well, that's what it is. So this is why we have what we call Syndrome X. Females specifically suffer from Syndrome X, which is an over delivery, an overabundance of insulin production in the body. And so um, that's why it's really essential that women, you be careful about the amount of estrogen foods Plastics. Talk about plastics. Mm. Yeah, in plastic there is uh, xenoestrogen. Yeah. Uh, um, there is chemical that your body, uh, your body uh, absorbs. Yeah, it, your body thinks that it's it's estrogen. Ah. So oh. It's, uh, it's, it's really. Yes, and it's wow. So it's a synthetic yeah. hormone. Yes. It's a synthetic hormone. Uh -huh. Estrogen in plastics is a synthetic hormone 